Our next guest is a tiny, 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 tiny streamer. Named Moist Critical. Mm -hmm. He's a very tiny, tiny, tiny streamer. I think he's trying to get exposure by being on my show. Um, not sure exactly what he does, but we'll, we'll, we'll call him up. I think he wants clout or something. That's why he wants to come on the show. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll ask him, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who? Moist Critical? What? Guys, I refuse to believe that Moist Critical actually collects dildos, okay? I feel like that is a meme. Ask him about Skynut? What is Skynut? Okay, alright guys, we are going to hit up Mr. Moby Dick. Okay, here we go. Hello? Hello? Oh my god, Mr. Moist Critical! Cool. Uh, hey there. Hello, hello. Hi, it's so it's nice an honor to be, to be here. Oh my god, it's so honored to be here. Uh, to have you as well. Um, who are you? You just cut out. Uh, it sounded like you asked who I was. Was that the uh, yeah, question? Yeah, yeah, who are you? That's a ridiculous question. I am one of the top gamers, one of the first gamers to ever pick up the sticks. Actor, Hunger Games, you probably know me from. Also, Officer Greg in a horror movie coming up. World-renowned singer, songwriter, musician. Really, the, it's a laundry list of things, honestly. Wow. It's, it'd be, it'd be a whole show going through it. Oh, my God. You are so famous. It's actually a burden, honestly. <gasps> I can't go outside without sodden panties being tossed at me. You have panties being tossed at you? I know. It's a curse. I'm so sorry to hear that. That must be really, really tough to have, have all these women. It's all I these know. hot women just throwing themselves at you. It's crazy because they're all supermodels too. It's like, wow, where is this like the not supermodel ladies? You know what I'm saying? It's weird. Oh my God, that is so tough. Can you lend Jorm some? He's desperate. Oh, absolutely. I'll do my best. Wow, Jorm, you're in. Look at you. I told you I'm like your best master, man. Mr. Mr. <sighs> What's your name again? Charlie, or Charlie, Charles, Charlie. Officer Greg, if you want to be more formal, really, Officer whatever you're feeling. Officer Greg, Charlie. Mm -hmm. So, um, your viewers are, well, your viewers wrote something on my face, and I guess I have to ask you that. What's a Skynut? Yeah. It is a song from The Gentleman, which is a musical project that I'm a part of with my boy Troy. It's a song about machines from the future powered by human semen, and in their timeline, they ran out of men to milk. So they had to come back to the past to milk current generation men and hopefully not repeat the sins of their fathers and, you know, continue to power themselves.
first participation in robot masturbation. So that's basically like the, the gist of it. Think Terminator, if instead of electricity, it was nut. Oh, interesting. Like, like, like nuts, like almonds and, and peanuts yeah. and. Like that's pretty much where milk, we were going. Right? Like almond milk. You're trying to milk almond yeah, from nuts, right? Basically. Okay. So, um, Mr. Greg, Charlie, mm -hmm. Greg? yeah, Mr. Charlie. So your chat keeps telling me these lies, okay? That you collect dildos, like uh, I know, like what the hell is that about, right? That'd, that'd be that'd be weird, right? Yeah, that'd be super weird. That you have this dildo dick collection that you're trying to compete with Belle Delphine. Yeah, what a <laughs> it'd be the undertaking of a madman. Yeah, yeah, that would be weird. Do you own? So I did a roundup pretty recently in dildos and like vibrators that kind of resemble dildos. It's right around forty three or forty four, depending on how lax you get with it. And then for like Moby Huge's, I have two, but I didn't bother counting like bondage kits and stuff. So I have a lot of those as well. What what's a Moby Huge? It's a three foot, 70 pound dildo. Well, dildo is the wrong word because you can't use it. So it's just like a three foot penis made out of silicone. Why? There was a great deal. They were doing some kind of like holiday special. Sale. Yeah, it was what? great. It's usually a thousand bucks. They were going for 651. I was like, are you kidding what? me? They were almost half off? I know, right? Like you Jesus, it was crazy. On that. Wait a minute. Okay, what happened on Black Friday? Oh, I didn't buy anything on Black Friday. Wait, you didn't wait, you didn't go. Wait, you're a mm -hmm. professional dildo collector and you're trying yeah. to compete with Bill Delphine and you didn't yeah. take Black Friday deals? No, so I don't actually buy the dildos. I have a I have a dealer, I have a plug. Oh. And they send me boxes upon boxes of dildos and shit. So I never have to actually pay for them. The only ones I've paid for are Moby Huges. Wow, that must be nice. So you have a designated dildo dealer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did you find this guy? Well, it's a company. It's Adam and Eve. They just send me like Wait, boxes. Wait, okay. Wow, boxes wow, of wow. Shit. Okay, hold 
on a second. Okay, I'm gonna break the character. Okay, I'm gonna die for a second. Okay, let me die first and then I'm breaking character. Okay. By all means. Wait, what the fuck? You're sponsored? Yeah. You're sponsored by Adam and Eve? Yep. And you get their shit for free? Yeah. Yeah. And if you can keep it between us, I'll, I'll let you in on a secret. Adam and Eve wants me to beat Belle Delphine, so they've been supplying me extra hard. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. I have, I have some... I have like crazy nipple puffalizers, which doesn't even really count for our competition. I got all kinds of weird shit. I've got like this sex doll made out of broken glass that I dressed up for Christmas. I've got it all. Oh my god! That's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna break character for a second. Okay, hold on. Yo, you get free dildos from Adam and Leaf, and they just send boxes mm -hmm. and boxes and boxes of it. Yeah. Do you give them away? Not, not. Uh, I'm asking for a friend. Yeah, no, it's probably illegal if I was just going to send them through postage. They'd probably get stopped as, like, a biological warfare attack or something. But, like, I could definitely give them to friends, and I've done that before. Why, you, you need some or something? Uh, no, no, not me. Technician not, needs them? No, no, not, not even technician. Just, just, um, a, a friend. Uh, a friend a, of a technician, you know? A good pal, yeah, I Yeah, feel yeah, it's a good, she's a very good pal yeah. to, towards his friend. Um... Just the just uh, the friend likes the darker ones, black. Hey, I have all oh, the colors and all oh, the flavors you could possibly okay, want. Okay, okay, good, good. We're okay. I will, I will let my friend know. Okay, yeah, just yeah, let let them know that you've got the hookup now. If you ever need a supply, Mr. Charlie. So I hear mm -hmm. that you have this, um, you have a. You're you're into cards right now. You're into Pokemon cards. You're into Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You're into. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty so, cool, right? Yeah. So, like, what's going on with that? Have you gotten everything that you wanted? We're getting there slowly but surely. Yeah, I, I've got most of the most of the cards I've been searching for. There's just still a few that I'm missing, but you know, we'll, we'll get them one day. What are you it's missing? It's just the thrill of the hunt. What are you missing? All of base set first Ed, which is the, the white whale, but that's so hard to find. That's like hundreds of thousands of dollars for those cards. Unless you know somebody, there's just no way I'm getting those. Oh, uh, just a white whale? Yeah, pretty much. Is that Figure like, speech. What is that? Is that, is that? is that a Pokemon card or what is that? I'm really dumb when it comes to cards. Yeah, so it's like, a, well, the white whale's not a Pokemon card. But the pursuit is like, have you read Moby Dick? No. It's about Captain Ahab's quest to, it's a metaphorical journey, in fact. It's not really about the whale. It's more about, you see, Captain Ahab's chasing this this elusive whale, a real bastard, that old bitch. He, mm. he just couldn't quite get a handle on it. And it's all about his journey to capturing and finally completing that quest. And that's similar to what I'm going through right now. The white whale, of course, metaphorically being my Pokemon collection that I'm searching for. Oh, I see. So I have a few Pokemon cards. You want to see? Mm. Yes. I got some on my desk. Unfortunately, I only got a bunch of this first edition Charizards. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. They, they're like symbolists or something. The Japanese symbolists. Charizard. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> I just I don't know why, but I just ended up with a bunch of these, and it's oh. really unfor it's really unfortunate because That's I wanted. Disgusting. Hmm. Oh, it's just gross to look at. I oh. know it's disgusting. I wanted some variety, you know. I wanted some magic cards, some rat -a -ta, 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 ta ta But mm. all I got are these, you know, super. Apparently, they're like symbolists and Japanese and holographic and blah 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 blah. First edition, blah blah blah. Who the fuck cares? Yeah, exactly. Who cares about that? And apparently, they have like mistakes on them. Oh yeah, you have to be a real loser to want those. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it just breaks my heart. I keep so many of them. Yeah, God, yuck. Yuck. <laughs> Disgusting! Ah, oh. so not even sleeved either. It's, 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 but not like I care if they're sleeved. You know, it's weird. It'd be weird to Why care about that. Why would anybody sleeve their cards? Yeah, exactly. Nerds. <laughs> yeah, actual uh, turbo nerds. Uh, 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 uh. 
Do you mind if I kill myself real fast? They never want to revive me. Guys, like literally, seriously, just revive <laughs> me like one time. Has this ever been yes? No, I have to like, well, I never rig votes or anything like that, but like I have to like, um, duplicate a bunch of myself and type one rapidly to that was the only time yeah i get you yeah yeah oh <sighs> and now i'm dead so now it's just me so what's protocol here what's protocol what does protocol mean uh, how do we proceed? We just talk. How are, how are you doing, Mr. Moist Critical? So you gave the chat the illusion of choice. You still revived yourself, you heartless harpy. They said no. Oh, oh my god, wait, hold on, I'm not connected. Crap. Okay, I'm gonna kill myself again. Do you mind? Okay. Yeah, yeah, by all means. <clears throat> Sorry guys, did not connect. So Mr. Charlie. Yes. How long have you been doing this whole social media influencer thing for? Ooh, that is a yucky word right there. Influencer. That's like saying Voldemort's name. That's gross. But I've been on the internet for like 15 years now. 15 years? Yeah. Dang. That was before 3D technology even existed. Mr. Charlie. Okay, yes. So, tell me about... So my mod did a little bit of a research. Ooh, a okay. deep dive, okay. Mm -hmm. And, well, he gave me a list of things that you are, and it seems like you definitely have a really big resume. Um... Okay, so it says you are a Kickstarter crap connoisseur, the number mm -hmm. one reviewer of movies and games, <laughs> YouTube niche hobbies, addictions, explorer, extra, extraordinaire, wholesome dad creative videos, extensive knowledge on anything related to sex and porn, including directing one himself. Mm -hmm. Wait, you directed... What? You directed well, it, porn? In the process of, unfortunately, the old pandemic shut down uh, the porn production for a while, but we're coming back. The okay. fucking at Rockhard Manor will see the light of day. Wait, you directed porn? We wrote it, yeah. Tell me more? Yeah, I can talk about the first episode. I've made that public. So, uh, a porn company a while back asked if I'd be interested in writing porn with them. And obviously I'm going to say yes. I mean, who the fuck would say no to an opportunity like that? So I got my boys together, Jackson, Matt, and Danny, and we started brainstorming. We went right to the lab. We were researching porn nonstop and eventually came up with a premise that would be four episodes, roughly like three hours long, so like the Lord of the Rings of porn. And we wanted to make one that had a storyline that even if you took all of the sex out would still be an incredible movie. So we wrote that and uh then the pandemic hit so it hasn't been able to be filmed yet the lore of the sea rings yeah pretty much well it's called the fucking at rock hard manor the only thing it have in common with lord of the rings is its length which is like three and a half hours wow that's that is impressive mr moist it, I, I, I i hope it gets i hope it gets made i'm still fingers crossed when do you think uh, who's gonna be in it do you know your actors and actresses? Will you be no. in it? Hey, hey, I'll I'll pitch a good word. It's up to them. They're gonna do all the casting. It's their budget. I'm not putting money into it or anything. I just wrote it. We just wrote it for them. So whoever they want to hire, it could just be people off the street if they want, as long as that porno gets made. How much are people getting paid for this porno? They wanted to make it like a six-figure production, but now that they're probably bankrupt from the pandemic, I wouldn't be surprised if it's only like panging them in popsicle sticks or something. Oh, geez. Uh, do you need actors and actresses? 
I, I will absolutely ask if they need that. Probably what they need right now is financial accounting or something to try and get their business out of the red. But assuming they can turn that around with the pandemic setting side, we'll, we'll hopefully get somewhere. That makes sense. I mean, I can lend you Jorm. If you ever need... He's a virgin. He's desperate. If you ever need oh. an actor, okay, I will lend you Jorm. He's kind of small, but... Well, I'm sure that'll be fine. We didn't write big dicks as a requirement into the the shoot or anything, so it should be fine. Awesome. Mr. Moist Critical, what is like... Okay, so I'm going to go down through the list again, okay? Because this mm -hmm. list is very interesting. You are... An... Okay, you are... Expert on the worst cooking of YouTube. Both others and his own attempts. Drama commentator, but only when it's absolutely needed. No small shit. Gamer god. Dog <laughs> whisper. What? <laughs> like, only when it's absolutely needed. When I talk about drama, it's usually just like some dumb, goofy shit for the most part. But yeah, I like that. I come out of hiding when I'm needed most, like Batman. Do you? Can I tell you what happened with me and Twitch? Hit me. Okay. Can I tell you the story of how I got banned? I want to hear everything. Leave no stone unturned. Okay. So, I had this feature, okay, called, uh, send, if you send a dollar, you can send Nico a D-pick, okay? The so, I had, this, I had this phone, right? And Chad could send me a D-pick by sending a dollar, and a letter D would pop up on this phone okay in various sizes they could get 0 0.2 inches 9 inches like all sorts of these right yeah and then um and then twitch banned me for they thought that i was selling actual dick pics and they banned me for soliciting pornography i'm just surprised they gave you a reason for banning you i mean that's more than most people get uh, that's actually the most shocking part of that story if i'm being honest so what yeah. did you do in response do you still do well, d pics we changed it to pp pics oh that's significantly better yeah there's no confusion there yeah so i mean it would just be weird way too weird champ if they banned me for pp pics yeah it wouldn't I mean? make any sense exactly yeah. so now chat just gets to have like different size peepees Perfect. Find a dream come true. Exactly, Mr. Moist. What is that? What are you what are you doing with your hand? Oh, it's just my earbud. I was Oh, okay, it. okay, 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 cool. I got more I wanna ask you more stuff. I am this is supposed to be a a, a hangout, right? But I'm completely mm -hmm. in I'm completely intimidated by your Jesus figure that I'm just mm. I just I'm gonna just go through the list, okay? All right, by all means. Okay. Um, did anyone tell you that you're kind of intimidating? All the time. It's my bulging muscularity and just absolutely disgusting stature. I'm, I'm standing at a beautiful five foot six. Like going through doorways is oftentimes Wait. burdensome. It's just massive shoulders popping through. Are you only five foot six? Did you say only? Did I hear that? It's cute. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so we're yeah, on the same yeah. page. Like an intimidating yeah, yeah. five foot six, and yeah, oftentimes you'll have kids voiding their bowels when I come through. It's like holy shit, you know. This is what happens when you eat your vegetables. You can look like this Adonis, right? It's Are just you one vegan? of those. Am I what? Are you vegan? No, 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 no. Are you sure? Well, yeah, yeah. You look a little vegan. Well, that's rough, but that's all right. It's, it's okay. I'm a vegan. Yeah, yeah Hassan is vegan. That's true, and he that's... he doesn't look he doesn't look cute. He looks like a man. He looks like a he's, like he's a, a punky man. man. He's big man. A big very man. very pudgy man. Yeah, big exactly. man. So I'm gonna go down this list because I am incredibly intimidated by your <sighs> Jesus stature. Okay, so um. Carnival Games Behoma, Behemoths, Oscar-level actor, a crusader of YouTube creators' rights, is actually six feet tall but lives his life as 5'6 to give us the rest of us a chance. <laughs> is that true? Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. 
Are you actually sick? Because you look tall. Do I? That's, that's the nicest thing I've heard all day. Thank you. That's so sweet. Are we, are we hung up on this height thing? Because, yeah, that's a lie. Yeah, you can see me, like, next to, a, like, a medium-sized Christmas tree, and I'm shorter than that. Like, it's a, there's plenty of ways to confirm. Oh, my God! Well, don't go by my IMDB. I'm not two, two centimeters. And be careful here that you're going to see a lot of Moby Huges. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I, I, I will not scroll. Wait, Mr. Moist, you used to be so cute. What happened? Oh, oh yeah, so uh, I evolved. I've reached oh, my final form. This is your final stage form. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. When did you start growing out your hair and, and all that? Is it the COVID? No, so I did it, I like, started it two years ago. Uh -huh. And I wanted to start like putting my hair into like man buns and like samurai shit because I thought yeah. it'd be cool. Yeah, and it, I like it. I like it. I like it when I do that. It looks nice. Mr. Charlie, how old are you? 26. Really? Yeah. You're only 26? Oh, that is so nice to hear only in there. Yeah, yeah. I feel old, but hearing only feels nice. I mean, you look... Mature. Mm, okay, I thought yeah, you were going to yeah, say yeah. like 14. Yeah, you look mature. You look very, oh, okay. very mature. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Let me look down. Let me look down the list. Mm -hmm. Um... Sex toy martial arts pro. Slap champion commentator. Killer bean spokesperson. Movie service historian. Sports inventor. Ad campaign voice actor. How many, like you've been on movies, you've been on ads, like, what have, and you've been in porn. What have you not done? Oh, there's plenty. There's still plenty more I need to do out there. A what? lot more things I need to stick my fingers in. What things do you want to stick your fingers in? Well, I think the next step is like a full-blown Hollywood production as a lead role because my Hunger Games one was cut. So I still got a chip on my shoulder out there. They that cut damn Jennifer you Lowe. out? Yep, they cut my line out. All that's left is my hand. How could they do that? What was it? It was a... So I was a District 8 helper, and I'm sure you've seen the movie, Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1. It was a, a tragic film, and it's mainly because the, my character wasn't as prominent as he was supposed to be. So District 8, you know, it's in jeopardy. Katniss is going there to visit the hospital. It's carnage, blood, guts, and tits all over the place. Oh, and then there's Charles. Dear. Charles is there. And I play a District 8 medical helper. Yeah. And I was tending to a burn victim. And one of my lines was supposed to be like getting the doctor's attention to let him know that she needs help. And unfortunately, that line, among many others from that scene, were cut. And the movie just never recovered. God damn it. They yep. should have made you her main love interest. That's what I said at the time, yeah. too. Yeah. They missed out. I know. That's what I... The franchise would still be alive and kicking today if they had only kept my character in there. That's all I'm saying. So now you have to... You, you have to make your own movie now. Yeah, that's the next step. That's what I'll do. I'll make a whole movie dedicated to that one character, the savior of District 8. The spin-off. You spin -off. that, Mr. Moist... Critical. <coughs> Why is your name Moist Critical? Oh, I don't know. I just always change the name around. I never really think to like make things connect. So like Instagram's Big Moist Critical. Yeah, I Here's noticed moist. that. And then yeah, and know. then you got Penguin. Na, na, yeah. Na, 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 na. Yeah. How do you that one, that I... one? Just penguin Z zero. Penguin Z zero. Why? Why is it? Why is it so confusing? I can't yeah. keep up. I know. And I know. Your name just is not... Charlie too. I know. That's the weirdest one. I, I don't know. Well, Officer Greg. Let's let's not mix words. That one's as straightforward and beautiful uh. as it gets. But all the other stuff, it's just whatever I thought of at the time. Mister Moist, were you ever a stripper? No, but I I think that could have been cool for me. I think it would have been good for you too because, you know, you're only five six, and mm, petite. Would, yeah, petite, and it would look quite cute. And you got like I, really uh, long hair and stuff. Well, I, I didn't always have long hair. I would throw Pokemon cards at you. 
That is the set so sweet. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, all these Charizards that I've got, I would just toss them at your face. My god. Well, that would you'd literally make me the most tip stripper of all time. Each one of the Charizards is like 300k, so that'd be nuts. No way. I'd, I'd go wild. What do you mean 300k? A first edition Charizard base set? That's a $300,000 card. Oh, come on. Who would buy $300,000 for a piece of card paper? Yeah, you would be surprised. Yeah, right? Can I tell you something really, really, really hurtful? Yeah, let me hear. Okay, so when Technician was little, okay, she had every single one of the Pokemon cards. Okay, uh -huh. so basically, um, Pokemon, okay, so Technic, Technician's godfather's son. So Technician's godfather was like, uh, one of the founding founders of Samsung. So like he was like super fucking rich, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, his his son happened to have literally every single card, the entire card collection, like like not just one one binder, but like two binders of them. Okay, and then mm -hmm. he gave one of them to Technician. So Technician had every single Pokemon card. Um, it comes mi middle school. Okay, it's like she's cleaning, like her mom is cleaning out her closet and she's like, do you really need to put these Pokemon cards? And the technician's like, uh, oh, not really. And then her, my mom's friend, okay, who was my neighbor, had a son who was a younger kid, right? And she was like, I can take these from you and give it to my son, but I'll have to let you know that these might work, be worth a lot later down the line. Oh. I know, profit. I know, I know, and I was like, nah, 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 just take them, I have no use for them, and I just gave them away. God. Yeah, I that, just gave them away. That's heartbreaking, that is heartbreaking. I know, I know, it still haunts me to this day. Well, at least it's not Bitcoin, at least you didn't have your mom be like, yeah, I'm gonna get you a thousand Bitcoin for your birthday, <laughs> and then you turn her down or something. Did that happen to you? No, but I got into Bitcoin like super early because my buddy was like, Charlie, Bitcoin is going to be big. And I was like, I don't believe you, so I'll get one. And then it got huge. So, woo! Did you at least, what did you do with that one Bitcoin? Do you still have it? Oh, I still have it, yeah. That's like a little treasure now. Do you think it's going to, do you think Bitcoin's going to be worth a lot? I mean, last I checked, and I don't check very often anymore because it's just hurtful. Last I checked, it was like, 15k a Did bitcoin it go up again yeah it's fucking wild holy shit so so my ex-boyfriend okay completely out of character again my ex-boyfriend <laughs> had a got a bitcoin right mm -hmm. and he had it in his old computer but his roommate spilled water oh yeah oh god it's so painful yeah that's the worst. I actually, like that guy who, like the YouTuber who bought two pizzas for a tutorial with 10,000 Bitcoins in like 2014. I don't know how that man hasn't just thrown himself down the staircase. Oh my God. I wouldn't be able to, I would never be able to sleep. That knowing is painful. That, that is so yeah. painful. Holy it was for shit. a YouTube tutorial. He spent like 10,000 Bitcoins just to show that you can order a pizza with Bitcoin. And that's like... 70 million dollars worth of bitcoin oh my god i bet he i bet he's like he can't he can't sleep these days like no there's no balls. way he's, he's literally kicking his own balls but i mean i'm sure there's i'm sure he's got youtube subscribers though he stopped doing youtube that same year it's a dead channel he hasn't posted since it's this it's the saddest story on the internet i think well i guess we know what happened to him then I think we can all surmise a conclusion of that sad saga, yeah. It's terrible. God damn. <sighs> Mr. Charlie. Yes. I'm gonna go down the list. Okay. Because you're incredible. I don't know, there's just something about you, okay? I don't know what it is, but I think it's like, because you're such a small, tiny, 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 streamer you know you're like a minuscule size it's just <sighs> here let me let me go down huh i said that's sweet helping out i, I like do I like seeing your interviews you bring on all kinds of people people i haven't seen before and i think that's great oh thank you i'm helping you get some exposure right now yeah i i always appreciate that 
It's what I can, anything I can do. Yeah, it's a very charitable thing you're doing here today. Thank you. Movie service historian, Lego master builder, gambling addict. Hmm. You're a gambling addict? The, that's, uh, so the Pokemon and gambling, it kind of goes hand in hand in the mental okay, illness category. Sense. Is that yeah. G Fuel in the back? Yeah, we were stacking Yu-Gi-Oh boxes on it last night. We opened the, opened 120 boxes, so How stacked people... it on the G Fuel. Who sponsors you? Uh, really, just G Fuel. I, I don't do the only time I do sponsored stuff is when it's like me and my friends, and it's because I want to make sure that they get paid for their work. So Aww. I usually only do it for like series and stuff. Do you pay your mods? I try to, but a lot of times they don't want it. That's See... a lie. I've only asked like three times. <laughs> trying to I, they're welcome to ask they're, they're welcome to get paid i think they do great work but I, I always feel weird asking i'm actually trying to force so i have a simp named jorm he's right a tier right. three right. yeah he's a tier three sub he's been here with me since july hasn't missed a single stream and um you know he's like uh he's a very loyal viewer and i'm just like i'm trying to pay him Okay, I'm trying to give him money, but he just keeps refusing because, like, he says that all of that money is just going to be spent on me anyway. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so it's just, <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm trying my best so that he can, you know. <laughs> so, this, to confirm, this is the same guy you said should be in my porn production because he's a virgin with a small dick. Yeah. Yeah. So this man is enamored with the streams, and you're still calling his wiener small? Uh. That's 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 a huge move right there, Miko. I respect that. Yeah, you respect yeah. that. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, he he is my he. I mean, I call him my slave. I mean, my bond oh, servant. Uh, but you right. Know, yeah. Yeah. And he wants to be called, he wants me to say that he's my bitch. But I feel like that's too disrespectful. Uh, yeah, that seems a little hard. That's more for like Twitter pay pig stuff. Twitter pay pig stuff? You don't know the pay pig community? No, what's that? Oh, you should definitely get in on this ASAP. So on Twitter, there's a community called pay pigs or pay piggies. And they're men who want to pay women to insult them. And that's it. They just give them money. So that way they'll make a post insulting them for giving them money. Wait, this is a thing? Yeah, yeah. Pay pigs. This is real. That's real. I've seen it a lot. I kind of laugh at it well, quite often. Well, Charlie, sort of... why don't you do it? You Are you fucking kidding me? That sounds terrible. No, you just <laughs> shave your beard, shave your mustache. You already have a nice luscious... You know, hair. You saw, if I squint a bit, you kind of look like a twink. So I think I think you can pass for a girl. I, I I would never be able to do that. That morally, that'd feel terrible. Like I couldn't imagine a goofier fetish where you pay to get insulted. Like humiliation's one thing where it's like porn where they spit on you and call your dick small. But to literally pay to sometimes not even have them insult you is crazy. Like, that one makes no sense. It's just giving money. Like, sometimes they'll just say, like, hey, I want to send you 200 bucks. And you take it and that's it. Like, it's weird. I could never do that. That is so fucking weird. I mean, I sometimes just sit here and talk and people give me money. Yeah, but you're entertaining them. That's super different. I'm talking on Twitter. It's a random message from a random dude taking a weird angle of his selfie. And he sends $200 out of the blue and that's it. They never speak. They don't get anything out of it. And a lot of times the girls just block them anyway. It's wild. But why, but why do they do it though? I don't know. I have no idea. It's like one of those things where like, because Jorm really likes to be in a box. Like he, that's like his thing. He wants to be trapped inside a box. So is it like one of those things? Jorm sounds like an enigma. I, I, I'm not even going to sit here and try and psychoanalyze Jorm's uh, preferences, but... For pay pigs, I, I have, I can kind of speculate. It's because they like to just give money to someone they think looks good, and that's it. That's as far as their enjoyment goes. Wow, that's so interesting.
Interesting. Yeah. Now I know something new about the internet. Mm-hmm. Chat tries to teach me a lot about the internet, and I've learned that don't look up anything like Chat tells me, like tries to teach me. Yeah. No. Well, I mean, a uh, technician, she seems to have a firm handle on the internet and uh, making money in niches. I remember watching a clip of technician talking about a uh, double penetration thing that she made trying to get money from Chatterbait. Does okay. technician have any words on that? Okay. Okay. That, that never got released. Okay. That never got released. That was made and put away because the technician has dignity. Too powerful. The DP was too much for the human nut to handle, I see. Yes. And also, well, one of the biggest reasons is because, so, Technician had me, and, um, you know how on Chatterbait you kind of have to moan and stuff when you're, like, a yeah. theater character? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, she called up a friend to practice moaning so that she can release this DP thing. Mm-hmm. Bro, that's just couldn't do it. It's just yeah. awkward. You're just, I, it's, yeah. I th not to be the uh, the manager of technician here, but what if you would use if if she had used stock moans? Do you think anyone would have caught on or been disappointed? Oh my god. Did I just blow it wide open? Are we gonna see that DP on uh, Chatterbait at some oh point? Oh my god. I mean, if I'm using a different avatar, and I'm just using stock moans. Yep. Charlie, you're very smart. I, I, I've been doing it a long time. I've heard many a moan reused in pornography. I've seen it done, and it doesn't ruin the enjoyment. I'm telling you, that's wait, the way to do that. Wait, do that? Actually, wait, wait, wait yeah. hold on. This. Wait, are porns not real? Oh, some of it's fantasy, if you can believe that. Can you believe... Some of the women in the porn aren't even having fun. Can you even believe what? that? I know, right? It's all a lie. But hentai is real. Yeah, well, I mean, that's that's a given. That God gave us two gifts. It was hentai and fire. So, of course, that's real. I can believe everything that you say, Mr. Moist Critical. Well, that's good to hear. You have a, you have a very honest face. I wouldn't lie to you. Yeah, you wouldn't. Mr. Moore is critical. Now I'm intimidated yeah. by your small streamer status again. And I'm going to go back to the list, okay? By all means. Mm -hmm. You are a news slash idiot commentator? What does that mean? Uh, I think like... Some some of the shit I make is just kind of poking fun at weird communities or weird things in the news, like a flat earthers and shit like that, I guess, would probably be what that means. Hot sauce wimp. Absolutely embarrassing. What does that mean? Well, I was born without the genetics to handle capsaicin, which is the active component in hot sauces and peppers. So when I get capsaicin, my body just shuts down. It goes into overdrive. It's it's a disaster, really. Wait, you actually like? It's like it's like an allergic reaction. Yeah, it's a it's a medical condition. It's uh, out of my control. Is what it is. Are you just a pussy? No, 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 no. I believe the proper terminology is capsaicin intolerant. So a pussy. Yeah. Well, I mean, that could be the urban dictionary term, I suppose, but I'm going by the medical professionals and what they say. That's true. Better better, better to go with medical professionals instead of yeah. the freaking urban dictionary, right? Yeah, right? Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Are you good with spicy food? That sounded uh, awfully shocked about how bad I am at it. Is I, technician able to handle I, it? Dude, technician is Korean. She is South Korean. She can handle any form of spicy food. She that is a bold claim. No fucking way. No, 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 I'm dead serious. She is like, her digestive system is built for spicy food. You know how like when people eat spicy food, like, and they shit, like their butthole burns? I don't have that. I don't have that either. Well, that's, because, not you don't, that's because you don't even eat spicy food because you're pussy. So like, technician, the technician doesn't even get that. Like, she eats the spicy food, and nothing ever happens. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know what to tell you then. So it's, she's a bit evolved. She she is a final form evolved person. So, are there any videos online of you eating hot stuff? Oh yeah, I I do tier lists with spicy food. I did hot peppers. I've done hot sauces. Is the most recent one. I did hot sauces twice actually. Yeah, I mean. You wouldn't even know I'm in pain in half of those videos. That's how well I'm able to hide it. But trust me, it does hurt. I do feel it. You're a very brave man. Yeah, I go your, where no one dares. With, yeah, especially with your medical condition. <laughs> yeah, that's what that is. I'm sorry to hear about that. It's all right. It's okay. Mr. Um, Moist Critical. So you're a big streamer. Oh, wow. I don't know about I, I, that. Okay, look, 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 look. I've been hiding it from my chat. But it was just, I was just kidding, you guys. So this is Moist Critical, and he actually is a giant streamer. Yeah, yeah, he's actually a big YouTuber, a giant streamer. You know, he's a movie star. He starred alongside Jennifer Lawrence. And, what? um, <laughs> and he is, so... What's your next movie coming out? Well, Officer Greg, he's going to be taking over the cinemas early 2021 with the last of the grads. Now, I'm not the main character. I wanted to give other actors and actresses a chance, of course. So I play a supporting role. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I play a supporting role as Officer Greg. And who knows? Maybe uh, maybe I'm the key to the whole thing. You know, who knows? I think you have, honestly, Mr. Penguin, you have like... Not only are you a good actor, but you actually, I think you have a chance to see the entire movie industry. Okay? Because, because look, the movie industry is suffering right now. It is. Okay? Bleeding. COVID and everything, but you and your talents, I feel like you can just lift up the entire movie industry and just save it all. I think so, too. I, and I think it starts with uh, stopping child abuse would probably be the first thing I'd work on. Because Hollywood's fucked up. Wait, That'd really? probably be where I go. Yeah, that shit is weird. Wait, what? So if I'm going to save Hollywood, I'll start there. Child abuse in Hollywood? Yeah. Can you believe it? I mean, actually, like, wait, tell me more. I actually don't know about this. Oh, you're not kidding? No, I'm not kidding. I'm just, I, dude, oh. I'm, just, I'm dumb. I don't read anything. I'm not, I don't know how to read. Yeah. Tell me. It's like weird Hollywood people. Like, uh, I remember reading a lot about, like, Corey Feldman's story. And now Corey Feldman... He himself is turned into, like, this weird man who sings about Corey Feldman and the Angels talking about, like, let's go get him and stuff. And it's all the result of that terrible child abuse in Hollywood that he went through. And then uh, I think Corey Feldman's friend from, like, his childhood acting days killed himself because of it. Like, it's bad. Like, it's fucking bad. That's Major Sage. Yeah, it is. That's where I'd start. I'd say no more kids in Hollywood. I just out, outlaw any movie where there's children. It'll be played by 18-year-old adults. I so mean, Home Alone 4 would be an 18-year-old. Bro, you've heard about the whole cutie shit, right? Oh, God, yeah. yeah Fuck. Yeah, yeah. That's disgusting. Yeah, that is absolutely repulsive stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go back to your list of accomplishments because you have like a million million what is it your proudest actually like what is the proud the proudest thing that you've done um to be honest i'm not someone that's super motivated by like numbers and stuff mm-hmm. i just do things that are fun and make things that are fun uh, as far as projects i've ever made i'd honestly probably say skynut skynut was a song that took us uh, quite a few months to like iron out and then the animation from the studio, it was over a year cooked up in the lab. It was just a really cool experience. And chat just brought up like my best gaming moment was when I played chess against XQC and scholars made it him in six moves. That shit got my panties sodden. Like that was pretty wild. You beat, wait, you beat XQC in six moves? Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't hear about it. It was nationwide news. All right, and the game just got started, so we're expecting to see a scotch from XQC. Do you have any insights on how you think uh, Moist Critical will reply? 
Um, I don't actually know. I think Charlie has been maybe looking at the Sicilian defense is my guess, but I don't actually. Okay, he plays the E5. Okay. So XUC is going to get his uh, get his scotch opening here, I think. Let, let's, let's watch. Let's see. All right. And um, if he does get it, then he will be familiar. So he's probably pretty happy to have seen E5. I think C5 may have put him a bit less in his comfort zone. Right. I, I think E5, E4, E5 is what a lot of players like to play. And here we go. We get the scotch opening. So XUC is very comfortable. I think this is the main opening he's been playing a lot. Um, okay. Now, Moise Critical plays Bishop C5, which is not a move that I like here. If the system is completely fine at an advanced level. I'm worried about the plans and the process here. Because when you bring out the bishop like this, uh, it can become very vulnerable right away. So I'm not sure that I like the like the variational approach here. No, please don't. And it's too soon. It's too soon, Hikaru. We didn't even reach a climax. You know, when I said it'd be fun to see a checkmate in four earlier, I was, I was joking. It was, I, it wasn't real. We're, we're listening to Moist Critical right now. Daniel Naraditsky is a prophet. He said immediately that XQC will likely go with the scotch open. And he did. So I had the counterplay and he immediately blundered. Well, that's got to be a world record. Thanks for the fat 10 gift subs, Pikachu. My is throbbing. I mean, so I, so while I was looking into you, I saw a video about it, but I was like, excuses, uh, you know, so I, so I didn't really watch it because, you know, excuses is just, um, but like, that is awesome. Six moves. Six big ones right there. Six moves of pure jubilant genius. Holy shit. That's amazing. Guys, I love XQC. Stop it. Okay. It's I'm... her. Yeah, she's trying to goad XQC onto the show. Yes, I see yes, Nico yes. play. That, that's, just, that's just how I do it. Stop, stop. Have you noticed something? Have you noticed something that's going on with my body? Uh, kind of. It's like folding <laughs> into itself. I think, I think. My my game engine is really excited to see you. Your you engine my... creating like a new vagina with like the the vertex of your two legs crossing. Pretty wow. much, pretty much. Oh god. Okay, so so my chat my chat can actually um influence like my body and. I think I might actually really have to recalibrate because I'm I'm getting so twisted up right now, <laughs> as you can see. So, um, g give me one moment to recalibrate. I don't know. They might be baiting you. Okay, no, no, no. I was actually muted. Okay, there, there, there. So <laughs> they, they can actually morph me into uh, they always go for the boobs first. Classic. Classic. Surprise, surprise. And then um. <gasps> Like you can you can see they they just they just go at it they they do whatever they want like this. and now they they are making me look like a dick, um, so now I'm a huge penis. You see that? Yeah, this is so. This is exactly what the future should look like. An anime girl with that looks like a dick. Yeah, it's kind of like from Star Wars Episode Two from those people that made the clones. That's kind of what it looks like if they had a massive sack. I can see that. I can definitely see that. Yeah. So I want to show you the different ones that they have made. They've made me this Dobiko. Because they think it looks kind of like a Dobby. It's kind of hmm. cute, right? And then yeah. um, this is, well, this is Ding Dong Co. This is basically the penis. Oh, and this is, this is, here, let me, the breasts are not <laughs> shrinking. This is, this is Hassan. <laughs> you see it? You see yeah, it? That's, yeah. That's yeah. good. I can yeah, I can see it now. And then this is okay, this one's kind of terrifying. This is Sperm Co. And um Oh wow. Yeah, it's a uh, They were basically trying to make me look like a sperm. Pretty much. And, yeah, I mean that's uh that's pretty close. I that looks like every sperm I've ever seen under a microscope. Mm 
Wow. And then, not lastly but not least, this is Pencil Co. And it's basically another rendition of Hassan, but more um, in extreme. It's just yeah. got, you, you can't really, but I have, there's a head. Do you see that? There's a oh, tiny, it, yeah, it's tiny, little, <laughs> tiny little head right there. Like a little baby bird in its nest. That's so cute. Isn't it? Yeah, it's adorable. It is cute, right? So I was wondering, do you ever, because you've been to a lot of, you did a lot of like different things and stuff. Would you ever want to go into like VTubing? Um, maybe down the line. I think what you're doing is one of like the most technically impressive stuff. Like, it, spoiler alert, I've watched a lot of the streams. So I know you also can like go from mocap to like the game world. Like Wait, in you real watched, time. Wait, you watched my stream? Oh, a ton of them. I know. I think it's the coolest shit. So I, I've also seen the chat play with the titties until it's like the massive walking dick thing. I've seen it all. It's crazy. Have I think it's the my, coolest tech. Have you seen my fart simulator? Yeah, I've, I've seen it. It's great. <gasps> okay, I have, I have a secret. I have a secret to tell you. All right, what is it? I haven't seen much of your stream. I know, I know. I, I, I learned that when I raided and you're like, who the fuck is this guy? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, 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 I knew, okay, so I knew, I've seen your YouTube before. Cause I, I actually, so when I got banned, I watched your YouTube to make me feel better. No. Yeah, so I've seen your YouTube before um, and I've seen you around. I just, I just, you don't need to make an excuse. Uh, you don't. It's fine. You just never stood out to me. As no, much. I get it. Well, at five foot six, it's hard to like stand out unless I'm in like a crowd of eight year olds. I get it. It's not a big deal. But I'm just but, saying, like that. The tech at Code Miko there, the technician, that shit is wild. Aw, thank you. Uh, I'm jokes aside, though. I, I mean, you look like a hot Jesus. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, that was yeah. that was nice. You look like a handsome Jesus. Wow, oh, sweet. Yeah. So what is the plan with the game world? That I don't know. Oh, What's oh, the, oh, the goal? oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Um, so I have some prototypes, but I can't show it on stream. But like, if you want to see it, like, ever, I would love to show it to you. I'm building an sure. RPG right now. So like, That's it's like, cool. right? So like, so like Miko, uh, well me, I basically want to... Well, there's, okay, so there's like steps of things to do, right? Uh, first things first, I got my interview segments. But the second thing I'm making is also in development. is a game show, like a celebrity deathmatch thing with streamers. So I'll bring like mm -hmm. two streamers on and they'll like, you know, do fighting, whatever, various things, right? And then after that, it's going to be my RPG world. And it's basically going to be like me going on an RPG adventure with my chat and my chat can help me out with quests or boss fights or um, like I was thinking, I was thinking of like maybe having like big streamers be like bosses and stuff and like, you know, they can like, um, and chat and Nico has to defeat like Hassan or something when he's like, Weasley little liar, stop, stop mauling, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? That is so fucking cool, yeah. Is it so? Is it all you behind all of this tech? Yes, like a hundred percent. Right now, yes, thing? yes, right now. Um, I picked up one more dev though, so she's. It's okay. I hopefully, hopefully, like there's like production's gonna. Thank you so much, Abstract Cow, for ten you one subs. Thank you. So hopefully, production's gonna like roll more and like I I want to build a team, you know, because there's yeah. just, there's too many things that I want to do. Um, not enough time, and especially right now, I haven't been able to dev anything. I've just been, like, trying to, like, um, you know, set my, uh, show up, like, get people to work on the show, and, you know, all the, all the other emails, and, like, all the other, you know, you know, you know. Yeah. Um, so I haven't really been able to dev, but, uh, wait, what is this, what is this void box, guys? Void box, guys, but anyway, sorry, I just, I kind of word vomited all over your face. No, I think that's great. I think that's the coolest shit. So like all the VTubing stuff, I, I also like all of that, like Project Melody and everything. But like, this is another level. Like, uh, I, I didn't even think we had this level of technology. Like playing VR, it's like, oh, this is cool and makes me puke a little bit because I get motion sick because I'm also a pussy there. Oh. But like taking that kind of mocap 
and making it one to one and like free flowing between a game and like what you're doing with interviews is crazy to me. I don't know if I'm getting older or not, but that shit blows my mind. Oh, thank you so much. That, okay, I thank you. I will be. I'm. I'm a professional. Thank you so much. You're. Oh, that is awesome. I'm glad you find my stuff cool. It is. Yeah. Also, uh, I'm sorry I called you a pussy earlier. No, you're totally fine. Okay. A hundred percent. Okay. Am I simping a little hard right now? I think I am. No, I think it's reversed. Like, I genuinely am just beyond impressed with the technology and everything you've created with it. It's great. And it's no surprise you, your entire channel's been blowing up. I remember when I found your channel was like, shit, like 25K followers. You're pushing, what, like 80K now? Like, it's crazy. Absolutely earned it. Do you want to see my plates? Absolutely. What, what your plates? My place? Oh, your place. I oh, you see your plates. Yeah, sure. I'll get the tour. Guys. Shut up. I'm not, what the hell? I'm not a pussy. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. So this is my room. That is you. And then <laughs> this is my bed. If I have, if I ever have like, oh, fucking hell. Okay. It's like if The Sims was made by the same people who made Black Bible. Black Bible? Yeah, it's like a classic, uh, hentai. What? Tell me more. I, I actually don't really remember that well. I saw it when I was a kid. I just want the one that always stood out to me. Okay, so this is my dump. Okay. And... This is basically pretty much it. It's not much but you know it's it's enough to keep my stream going and i've got so these vending machines are for you know to feed dorm sometimes mm -hmm. and I, get, I eat sometimes from here and yeah it's a it's kind of a dump because i'm supposed to be well i am an npc that wants to get wants to have like a main role inside, inside a video game but because I'm just an NPC, I can't afford much, and ah, and I, and I bug out like this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Sometimes I brave, vibrate like that. Yeah, it happens. Anyway, that is my place. I'm also gonna it's get great. finger tracking soon. Finger tracking? Yeah, in two days. So I wanted to. So technician is kind of a uh, elitist when it comes to like, you know, all the mocap stuff, and finger tracking was like. $4,500 and you know she didn't want to spend that much just yet and so um but but the finger company actually contacted her asking if she wanted to try it that's super lucky that's nice I know and so now it's coming in two days now it's gonna take a pop, couple days for it to get you know configured and stuff but right. two days and I'll be able to flip people off that's gonna be big that's gonna be huge I can make what all is, sorts of gestures. Yeah. What is technician's background? Did technician work for DARPA or something? Like, how how did this, like, what is her wheelhouse? How was what she able DARPA? to create all of this? It's a they work on time travel and the, it's it's a DARPA's wait, base. There's, wait, there's is this an Elon Musk subsidiary? No, DARPA's like the devil. Uh, it, well, depending on who you ask, I guess. It's a technology place. They do like crazy shit. Oh my god, so, like, oh my fucking god, I hate my chat, hold on. <laughs> yeah, DARPA made the internet, right? That is accurate, I think. I think it was a DARPA project. I hate fact checking live, but now I need to know. I'm pretty sure DARPA was behind the first like rendition of the internet. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Welcome what back. Um, guys, 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 enough with these both boxes, okay? Bad chat, bad. Oh shit, sorry. Leak. Okay, um, what was I saying? I forgot. Something about DARPA. Oh 
Oh, she used to work for an animation company for research and development for live animation. So, for, oh, well, yeah. So, like, um, literally, specifically, uh, being able to be a real time animation for Unreal Engine. Uh, so, ba basically, this. Okay. So, yeah, it was yeah. like exactly what she was already working on at the yep, time. Yep, yep, yep. And, um,. Have you seen my fart? Have you seen my fart rocket? Run it. Okay. I'm gonna wait. Shit, wait. I think I might have. Oh no. What happened? Did you turn it into like a shit rocket or something, and it's too graphic for Twitch? What went wrong? I wish. No, I. I think she might have disconnected it for dignity reasons. Fuck. Oh. I know. Oh, God damn it. Okay. But you The hell with dignity, I say. I know. We should all have movie huge. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm gonna check real fast if it works. I hope it does. Does five thousand have four zeros or three zeros? Three. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, that was impressive. Mm. Uh, okay. I hope it works. Damn it! It doesn't work! Uh, I know. God damn her and her dignity. That could be one of the first quests in your RPG chat fights <sighs> to get the farting back. Hey. Would you be like... Would you be open to being a boss in my RPG? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Can I 3D scan you? Yeah, well, it, I don't have to put, like, alginate in my butthole or anything. Right? You no, don't need anything no. Like that. <laughs> no, okay. no, 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 no. All, all I need are some pictures. That's it. Okay, it's not, like, pictures of, like, my butthole or anything, right? Like, it's still no. just, like, normal okay. pictures. I mean, unless you want to become, like, I don't know, penguin monster and his special attack is butthole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We could save that for the sequel, I suppose. Okay, yeah, yeah. We could we could save that for if you ever do if you ever wanna make another porn movie. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh my god, wait. So I'm going completely out of character now. I don't even care. What if Okay. What mm -hmm. if you could have a porn? Okay, but mm -hmm. it's you. And I use my double dick DVD <laughs> penetration technology. And and we have you and I mean you know where this is going. Yeah. Like, so I'm getting I'm getting spit roasted, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Is that the is that the whole idea? It's just So the chat the, the chat is spit roasting you. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the yeah, chat yeah. is going yeah, yeah, with yeah. like how much PSI is being exerted and the, the tempo that I'm getting plowed at. Okay. Right. So like the speed and the and the pump will all be dignified by, all be dictated by when in case chatterbait tokens. Oh, okay. I yeah, see. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then so, I mean, it's, it's a good business model. It's a good business good for like the love of the sport i suppose but what do you mean by business model would i be seeing some of those chatterbait tokens or no 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 yeah, like... yeah 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 so you so you would be the the main i mean obviously i mean the dp is you're the one that's getting spit roasted well it's not like me personally getting dp'd it's charles in the virtual world getting dp'd yeah but that's still you Okay, so you'd still cut me in on the profits. Then. Obviously. Okay. I cool. wouldn't let you be deeply pit spit roasted without you getting some of the profit. Okay, well that's better than half the companies already. Then yeah, I'm on board. We'll talk about it, Charlie. We'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll 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 figure something out we'll there. Figure, <laughs> we'll figure something out there. Honestly, now that I've said it, you know the rule of the internet, rule thirty four. Well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, now that I've said it, it's going to just happen. Someone deep faked me onto a, uh, I think it was a ski hand job. So it was a, uh, they photo, well, it wasn't a Photoshop. They deep faked my face on a girl giving like double hand jobs to two dudes. So that's as close as I've been yet. So we're not far off. <laughs> How 
How did that make you feel? For a second, I thought it was me. I was like, when the fuck did I do that? And who was filming? But afterwards, I was like, wow, that's impressive. Did you keep the video? No, nah, it's somewhere on the internet. I don't know. I'd have to find it again. Are you married? No, I do have a girlfriend, though. You should give it to her. Give her the video of me doing the du the dual hand jobs? Yeah. I would just, I'd probably just get in trouble for it. She'd be like, what the fuck is this? It's convincing. She'd be like, what the fuck, Charlie? Dude, those deep fakes are getting so real. They're getting They're good. They're getting so good. Yeah. They're getting good. Yeah, I saw one with um, PewDiePie on Belle Delphine. Really? Yeah. I seen that one. It was, I thought it was him. Yeah. Dude, that'll do it. Yeah, I legitimately thought he was making a parody video and it was him. Yeah. It's crazy. It's the technology is getting wacky. It's getting too far. It's going way too far. Pretty soon movies will be all deep fakes. Like you could have like actual deep fake renders of like Marilyn Monroe and everything acting in your movies. You wouldn't even need actors anymore. And They're going to throw be... Officer Greg to the curb. I know you'll be out of a job. Yeah. But you're supposed to save Never. Hollywood, Mr. Greg. Yeah, I'll take a baseball bat to every goddamn computer in Hollywood if I have to. Well, not mine, hopefully. Well, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. we'll keep yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, mine. Mr. Penguin, if you were in my RPG as a boss fight, what would your special line be? Or a special attack be? Ooh. I don't know. I could, I could have multiple phases, right? Like, one of them I'm tossing, like, Pokemon cards, and it's a ranged phase, kind of like a bullet hell. Like yeah, Zoho. yeah. Yeah, and then when you get up in close, I could be like a like caveman. So like in Yakuza 7 where they have like the giant fucking sledgehammer, I could just like slam it down a Moby Huge for like AoE or something. Oh yeah, there's a lot of, there's a big move set in there. Am I allowed to have a Moby Dick on my stream? Uh, Cyberpunk, like half the game is just a bunch of dicks in the world. I think it's probably fine. Wait. As long as it's not pornographic. As long as... Twitch TOS says, as long as it's not being mo-capped. Yeah. I could have a dick. Yeah, like, I'm not allowed to bring the Moby Huges on stream, and it's because, like, I'm bringing them on stream because it's a penis. But, like, if my house was built with, like, a Moby Huge for a door or something, it'd probably be fine. It's all about the purpose of the dick. That makes sense. The purpose yeah. of the dick. Hopefully... One of your dicks from your dick collection that I'm going to give to Technician's Friend mm -hmm. will have a purpose as well. Yeah, may it find a loving home. May it find a loving home, Mr. Moby. What do you prefer to be called? Charlie or Penguin or Mr. Greg or... I usually just prefer Charlie, yeah. Charlie? Yeah. Okay. Mr. Charlie, this was such a pleasure. It was a lot of fun. I really appreciate you having me on. Like I, I said, I'm a huge fan of the show, so I loved it. I am a huge fan of you, even though I haven't oh. seen that much of you. But, 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 I have, I have seen, I have seen your hot takes on YouTube. Uh, especially when I was banned, you made me feel better. That's sweet. I'm glad to hear it. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Charlie, for coming on. And I would I would absolutely love to show you my RPG stuff if you're down to see it. Yeah, absolutely. Feel free to hit me up whenever. Okay. Bye, Mr. Charlie. Bye, and bye, see chat. Have a great rest of the stream. Bye. Have fun turning Nico into a giant titty dick again. Uh, okay. <laughs> bye, everyone. Bye. Wow, that was awesome. Mr. Moist Critical. He's a great guy. No, he's a sweetheart. Did you guys have fun? Here, I'm going to, I'm gonna type the, did you guys have fun? Type one if you had fun. Type two if you didn't have fun. Oh, I'm so happy, I'm so glad guys. Oh, I'm so glad. I hope I wasn't too mean. Sometimes, you know how I like to troll my guests, right? Sometimes I'm like, 
You're a pussy. That was too soft? God damn it. Damn it, I should have rammed them harder. I was too soft. Damn it! I should have been more.